hello everyone welcome back to the channel we are back here with zoelle and we have a lot to go over it has been a couple of months um since zoelle left levi and she has of course been staying with dane and alexis and zoelle has just found out that she's pregnant um, she hits her second trimester in 13 hours, and she's terrified. Um, she's very tense, um, but she's also scared. And she knows that, um, you know, if Levi finds out uh, that she's pregnant with his kid, it's just going to cause a whole other host <laughs> um, of problems. Um, so she's just kind of getting ready for class this morning because she has enrolled in university and um she's she's doing pretty well so far um she's all caught up on her homework and everything um this is her first semester so um she has her first draft of her term paper uh completed uh but she has not edited it or anything like that and I also think she's probably going to have to um, look into switching shifts um, at her job because uh, she's technically supposed to be at work right now. Um, she is missing work because she has class. So, yeah. And her boss is calling a little bit angry. <laughs> So I definitely think we're going to have to look into possibly switching shifts for her. So I believe Zoelle is all finished with classes for today. Yeah, she's good. Um, she didn't use the toilet like she was supposed to, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> but she's getting on the phone uh, with her boss to see about switching shifts. So good news. Her boss said that was fine. They could put her on the evening shifts um, from now on. So she now works from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, on her work days. So thankfully, uh, her boss was her boss was pretty cool about it. So she's kind of standing in the mirror, checking out her stomach. And she's like, oh, my gosh, I'm actually starting to show like. This bump is only going to get bigger and it's going to be impossible to hide from Levi, um, you know, once he finds out that I'm actually pregnant. So the other thing is we have saved up a decent amount of money. We've saved up $559, which is not great, but it's not bad. Um, she needs to have at least $1,000 um, to be able to move out on her own. Um, and so to be able to do that, um, she is working odd jobs and she's been writing. Um, she did self-publish a book, but she's only making like $8 in royalties um, off that book. And so there's just like not a lot um, that she's able to do. Um, this one no skill needed this is gardening level one cooking level one we could do this one i think maybe we'll just do this tv hookup help how do we start at 3 p.m on tuesday oh shoot we can't do that yeah okay well maybe what we'll have her do then is we'll just have her oh she's too tense to be able to write anything oh my gosh Okay, maybe we'll have her take a bubble bath um, and maybe that'll kind of help ease some of the tension. A challenging time from Baby Bump. Zoelle stands before the mirror, her eyes fixed on the slight bulge of her belly. She can hardly believe that she's pregnant and a sense of dread washes over her as she thinks about what this means for her life. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, yeah, I can tell. Um, the thing is, it's going to be really hard for her to be able to do her homework and everything if she's so freaking tense all the time. Um, so what I want to try to do is I want to start trying to work with her on, um, you know, kind of figuring some things out with this pregnancy. Um, and so I'm going to take $90 out of her, 
um, out of the money that she has saved up so that she can pay for this counseling session. Um, I think she's definitely going to have to go more than once. And I think she really needs to sit and talk to Alexis um, about things and, you know, kind of work through some of the emotions that she's having about this pregnancy. So how did your counseling session go? Not really helpful. This session didn't help Zoelle feel understood or feel better about the situation. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Um, let's have Alexis and Zoelle just come and sit on the couch. It looks like Dane is home, so that's great. Um, but I'm going to have Zoelle just kind of talk with Alexis about the pregnancy. So she has not even told Alexis that she's pregnant. So now she is, of course, telling Alexis that she's pregnant. And she is, you know, expressing her feelings about being pregnant and just kind of talking through things with her. So Ella is now ready to make peace with her pregnancy if she feels so inclined. I don't know that it would happen all in one day like that. <laughs> Um, so, you know, maybe eventually she'll make peace with her pregnancy. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below. If you guys think that, you know, eventually after maybe another counseling session or two, um, if she would be able to make peace with the pregnancy or um, or not. So the other thing is. She needs to make a decision as to whether or not she's going to keep this baby or give the baby up for adoption. Um, she has kind of tossed around both ideas in her head. She also knows that, you know, there's, you know, there's going to be a baby <laughs> and there's really not much. I mean, she's in her second trimester, so there's really not much she can do about it, you know, at this point. Um and so she either needs to decide to give the baby up or, you know, keep it. Oh, and it looks like she fell asleep after she was done eating. But I don't think she would sleep in her clothes. So let's pause for a second. Unwanted pregnancy second trimester. The idea of being a parent to a new baby doesn't sound any better than in the previous trimester. There's still time to make a difficult decision, but Zoelle is just not sure. No matter what she does, the damage is done. Life is permanently altered. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's go ahead and change your outfit, though. and Let's get you into your, you know, your pajamas. And oh my gosh. That belly is already belly in, friends. Okay, let's go ahead and try to take care of some of Dane's needs now. God bless him. Um, okay, we're going to have him clean up here. We'll have him grab a serving of that. Put the rest of that away. He's definitely going to need to take a little bit of a shower. And then he's going to go ahead and go to bed as well. Look at this belly, you guys. Oh, my goodness so much belly already i can't i literally can't oh my gosh with zoelle being pregnant sleeping in this sleeping bag <laughs> is really starting to hurt her back her back already hurts from being pregnant but <laughs> oof that sleeping bag is really not, not helping the situation at all um yeah i don't know i just i hate this i hate this for her so much so Zoelle has class in about an hour and Alexis made breakfast for everyone, which was very, very sweet. So Zoelle is finishing up breakfast and then she is going to head off to class. Um, I know you guys um, had asked for some longer episodes and I want to do that, but I need to cut this episode a little bit short today uh, because I do have some other things that I have to get done this evening <laughs> before I go to bed. So... Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time. You'll have to let me know what you think um, about whether or not Zoelle's going to be able to make peace with this pregnancy and whether or not she's going to decide to keep the baby. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. So I will see you all next time. Have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.